Hey guys, it's Gabby and it is day, uh, I mean like 11, 13 of being a full-time travel blogger. And as you can see, my environment has changed a bit and I'm going to touch on that. First of all, I'm sorry that this is not exactly a one week of being a full-time travel blogger update. A lot of you know that some crazy stuff happened to me which I will explain more, a little bit more in the caption of this video, but it's really not that big of a deal. Well, it kind of is. Anyway, you can read more in the caption, but about my travel blogging journey, I am currently in Savannah, Georgia as a guest of Visit Savannah. I'm on a press trip, a fam trip. And if you don't know what that is, that is um, where usually tourism boards like uh, Visit Savannah will bring journalists, media, travel bloggers, videographers, everything like that, like creatives to their destination to make content and sell it or publish it. Um, and usually it's a comps trip, which means that I don't come out of pocket for it, but I do do work for them. So it's not free. I do a lot of work. I've done a lot of work on this trip, um, but that's the only reason I'm in a very nice hotel like this. Um, and that's one of the things I really wanted to touch on in this video is that this is kind of the reality for a lot, I would say majority of travel bloggers. Majority of travel bloggers as creatives do not make it to the big, big time where they make millions every month and they are they own, they do run conferences and everything. This is the reality. A lot are like me. I'm gonna go back to my mom's house and stay in my room after this. Um, but I have the resources with this trip to portray an image like I do this all the time. And I could create content here that could last six months. And if I don't tell you, you wouldn't know otherwise. So I just wanna kind of break that barrier between reality and fantasy and tell you that I would, like majority of travel bloggers are living like this. They're going on press trips um, or splurging for content and they live normal lives. They do not do this all the time. So it's it's very convincing it's very engaging to see me in a crisp white robe with like all this fancy stuff and i mean let me stop right there visit savannah has been absolutely amazing you should come to savannah georgia it has been so so fun they're not paying me to say this it's it's so it's been a great time here um and this is all very nice and like aesthetically it excites me to be here um but the reality that i want you guys to know despite what i put on my Instagram, which is curated. You should know that's not my life 100% of the time, despite what I, um, the stories I share, which are true, but they're just not my entire life and they're no one's entire life. 99% um, of the people are normal travel bloggers. So I, I really want you guys to know that, um, but it doesn't take away the fact that I'm excited to be here. So one week into my, uh, well, almost two weeks into my, full-time travel blogging this. I'm on a press trip, which I think is very exciting. And I'm very excited for the content that I'm going to create having been here. Um, I had that uh, collaboration with Delta, which was insane. That was last week. Uh, I collaborated on an Instagram post with them. That was, that's just like bucket list. That was insane. That was great. I announced last week that I will be speaking at the Women in Travel Summit in Kansas City. That is, that's, gonna be huge and that is gonna host four to five hundred people yeah it's gonna be really intense and I think I may be one of the younger or if not the youngest person to ever present there to speak there but I'm ready to take on the challenge and that's that's gonna be huge so between Delta and speaking at a national travel blogging conference me speaking about Gen Z about the future of travel and this press trip which has been amazing and it's been the vacation I've needed after a little bit of a whirlwind. Um, yeah, it's been a very good week. And that's the second point I wanna drive home is that along with this not being my reality 100% of the time, this will not be the reality of travel blogging full time all the time. There'll be times that it will not look like this. Um, there'll be times where things go wrong, but uh, it's been a very good week thus far and that's my truth and that it does excite me. So um, fingers crossed that this is just the beginning of even more amazing things, which I know it will be, um, but that the lows are not too low, but the highs continue to fly. So 
So thanks. Update in one month.